All right, folks, how we doing today? Here we're gonna take a look at my dragon bloods slash firefish. Uh, people call them different names. I've heard them called other names besides these two, but I, I suppose firefish and dragon blood are the two most common names for this species. Uh, it's it's not a true species found in the lake. It's a man-made species. They've bred different fish together to create these uh, the dragon bloods. But this male right here, he's one of my prettiest fish in my collection. I got four females here in the tank with him. So he's not lonely at all. Let's take a minute just to look at him. He is a gorgeous fish. Look how pretty he is. Look how pretty. Everybody who comes over and looks at the fish, this guy gets the most compliments. He's pretty big too. He's uh he's getting up there. I mean this is a, a four by six pitcher, so six inches long. He's probably the same size as that that piece of paper. So he's five or six inches big. He's a pretty good sized fish. He is gorgeous. I hope this color comes through good on the video. Uh but like I said, uh, I got a female holding right now. And then I have a whole breeder net full. You can see them all in there, the white ones. I got Rubens in there too, but they're dark, so they're easily um, to tell apart. But there are a lot of dragon blood babies. And then over here, I got some bigger guys. These guys are about hitting the one inch mark. And they are. there's a couple of them. Look, he's a male. He's coloring up good. There's a couple. There's five or six of them that, at this size, they're still coloring up beautifully. So these little guys, they're ready to sell. I just uh, haven't took the step forward to start selling my fish yet, but I got so many babies on my hand right now. I got to start thinning the stack. I got to start getting rid of some. So that's a look at my fire fish or dragon blood. Stay tuned for future videos. Thanks for looking.